All right, right here I have a typical scenario. Um, fan is on auto and system's on cool and dial it down to below 70, uh, but it's 80 in here. So you can see right here that there is air coming out, but the air is just lukewarm. In fact, if you check the temperature difference, the delta between the supply air and the return air down here, it's practically nothing. So as you can hear the air handler, the inside unit, it's running. You can hear the blower running. But when you go outside to the condensing units, all you hear is a hum sound. So this is there's this weird hum sound. So first we're going to do is just going to go to the uh, uh, circuit breaker or quick connect wire goes into the condensing unit, and we just turn it off for now. Now before you call a, a HVAC technician out, uh, there's some things that you can verify. Uh, to do so, let's remove the panel. Okay, after I open up the service panel, um, you can hear a little hum right there that's coming from this contactor. What happened is that these two wires that are coming in, this yellow and blue wire right here, this is your 24 volt AC signal that tells this contactor to shut. So uh, this contact, that's why you hear that, hear that hum sound. Um, I can see around right here see that there's a uh, right there uh, it's kind of dark ish um, the contactor's been closed and opening a lot of times causing it to wear over time so uh, the contactor ha I have some concerns but that's not what's the big issue the dead giveaway is the the capacitor right here as you can see it's bulged out right here um, that's a dead giveaway meaning that the uh, capacitor is bad. So a quick solution is first let's replace the capacitor. We also might need to uh, check on this contactor and replace that too. But that's the, that's the reason why this condensing unit is not running. So what I'm doing is I'm removing the capacitor real quick and the power is off and uh, what I want to look for are these ratings right here. So this capacitor right here, it is a 7.5 microfarad and 50 microfarad rated at 440 volts AC. Based on those couple of numbers, now I can go and get a new run capacitor. One more thing to note is that you can see the condensing uh, unit, right, like the, the fins right here. They're all, they're, it's completely caked in filth. This uh, is absolutely not good at all. Um, if you watch this other video right here, it shows how I uh, clean a, uh, the condensing unit, but this needs to be clean. Like you can see inside on the other end, like it should be silver shiny like that. Uh, that's how it should be. Uh, so uh, at least I need to hose this down real quick for now. As I said before, this is a 7.5 and 50 microfarad capacitor and as you can see right here the replacement unit is also a 5 50 microfarad and a 7.5 microfarad rate at 440 volts and to do this again it's pretty straightforward all you do is you just remove your wire from one of them and then you uh, hook it up to the other end um, even though I know this capacitor is completely damaged and I know there's no charge in this unit um, and since I'm not going to use this capacitor anymore so I'm just going to go ahead just for safety uh, to uh, discharge it which I know there's no charge on it but basically you want to touch there's three terminals C, fan and herm I'm going to touch C and fan together to drain it and I'm going to touch herm and C together and drain that so again there's no there's no charge so <clears throat> so first let's uh, remove uh, 
fan. So as you can see right here, there's the word fan. So I'm just going to unhook fan. And I'm just going to connect to fan on here. And there's two leads, it doesn't matter which one you connect to, just connect on one of them. They both short together. Okay, so the next thing is Herm. Herm is where the compressor goes to. And then you can see Herm right here too. So I'm just going to connect that to Herm. And finally, it's common, which is C. And all I do is just remove the wire common. And then I connect it to the capacitor, which says C on there. And again, there's there's four leads on here. It doesn't matter which one I go to. I just select one. All right. So I have all four, of, three of them connected together. Now all I have to do is just put it back into this bracket right here. So there you go. So let's turn on the power and see how it runs. I'm going to go inside and turn on the unit. So as you can see everything is running, um, you can hear the compressor and the fan come on of course. But if you don't know how a compressor should sound like, um, another way for, for a homeowner to check to make sure that everything is running good is to look at your uh, 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 suction line right here. It's also called a low pressure line. Um, as you can see, it has a larger diameter than this other copper pipe right here. Um, hence, it has a lower pressure. But anyway, this bigger, this bigger copper pipe uh, should start sweating, and it's been running for about 10 minutes, and you can see that it's sweating. It's uh, it's, it's it's really cold to the touch. Um, so as long as this is cold and sweating like that, it means that your compressor is running right now. Um, the next thing to check is to check the the delta of the temperature inside the house and I checked it already it's about 13 degrees which uh, is a pretty decent delta uh, you want it to be close to 15 is ideal um, and one more thing is again for residential for a regular homeowner who doesn't have the correct equipment um, a decent rule of thumb is like today it's about 90 degrees outside here so if this is about 58 degrees ish uh, it's a pretty good indicator that it's also doing well. So, and I use my uh, uh, thermostat, and I measured this earlier. Let it wrap around it with a piece of cloth and measured it, and it's about uh, 58.9 degrees. So, so that means that uh, that it's cooling pretty well. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to change a contactor, which I'll do in a separate video. Um, so that's it.